Uh, this question is basically easy one. So we have to see conversion. So the question says 19.47. So this question is 19.47. Now this question says, so meta to the diene. So this is meta to the diene. So NH2 and meta position I have CS3. So this is meta to the diene. So meta to the diene. T O L U, so T A L U I D I N E. So meta to the diene. If this compound, how will you carry out the following conversion? So from this, you have to prepare first C S3 and then C N. These all reactions are basically uh, go by a diazonium cation. You see, I can easily make the diazonium cation for the following from from the following compound and then if I react with CuCN I will get the product that is the Sandmeyer reaction so what you will do in the first case I will take meta to the diene so let me write here so I can take meta to the diene so I can either put CS3 here or CN here so if you don't have any problem otherwise let me write here itself CS3 and H2. If I treat this compound with NNO2HCl, everybody knows this will give you diazonium cation. So now I am having a diazonium cation CS3 N2 plus Cl minus. So this is the diazonium cation I have. Now if this diazonium cation is treated with CUC and if you remember this is a Sandmeyer reaction, it will be something like this. You have a CS3 here. And then here we will have CN. That is a Sandmeyer reaction. If you treat with copper salt, diazonium cation will be replaced by CN in this case. Now B part. So the B says, how will you convert this compound? So you have CH2, NH2. So here you have CH3, and here you have CH2, NH2. So how will you convert meta to lidine? So this molecule to this molecule. Now you see I have CH2NH2 so I can do reduction of CN that is important point. So in the B part A part you see we have already prepared this compound. Now if I go from here to here and then if I do reduction I will get this compound. So I will take this compound from part A. So I have CH3C triple bond N. So this is coming from from A. So question part A. So and then I do reduction. Reduction generally done by lithium aluminum hydride or you can take uh, H2PD also. So let us take lithium aluminum hydride. In the first step you have to add also water so that the this becomes H minus H plus will add and N minus becomes NH2. So finally we will get this compound. CH3 here you have and then you have CH2 NH2. So this is simply reduction. Are you getting a lot? Now next compound you have, how will you prepare this compound, compound C, that is this, you have CS3 here and you have to add iodine here. If you remember, you can replace diazonium cation with, if you react with Ki, diazonium cation and then you will get the same compound. So this means, if you take this compound, CS3 here and NH2 here. First you make the diazonium cation, Na2HCl, you have the diazonium cation here, CS3 N2 plus Cl minus. Now if you treat this diazonium cation with Ki, N2 plus will be replaced by iodine. So these all reactions are basically reaction of diazonium cation. Diazonium cation can be uh, a number of a more number of nucleophile can attack on a diazonium cation C and minus can attack in the first case C and minus in the second case H minus uh, sorry in the second case uh, in the first case you see N2 plus as you found C and minus attack now in the next case I minus can attack so a number of nucleophile can attack now we have the D part but we have here we have to prepare CS3 OH. Once again, if you have some idea, if you treat diazonium cation simply with water, 
you will get the OH group replaced. So if you simply either treat with H2O in acidic medium or basic medium, you will have OH. So let us see, you are getting diazonium cation. So we have already know how to form diazonium cation. So let me write here. So I have to write again. So CH3 I have, I have NH2. So what I will do in the first step, I will take Na2HCl and then I have made diazonium cation. Uh, and then I need OH so in the second step what I will do I will treat simply with water in acidic medium or it can be treated in basic medium I will get the desired product are you able to understand or not so what we are doing we are making diazonium cation and diazonium cation will be replaced by OH group in acidic medium this can also be done in basic medium now the third product we have so this is E what we have to make e is I have to add one NO2 group here and I have to have a CH3 here and NH2 here. Now if you remember, now this is a NH2 group, this is the ortho para direct, that's fine. Now I need a NH2 group here. But the problem with, if I have simply NH2 group, I cannot do halogenation. So what I have to do is, to do halogenation, I have to basically decrease the reactivity of ring so what I will do is first I will treat this compound with so I have to make this so what I will take I will initially take this compound CH3 here and NH2 here I will decrease the reactivity of lone pair of ammonia otherwise it will form complex with uh, iron complex it will form so nitration will not take place are you getting or not in this case if you have a mean that is very activated, in that case acid base reaction will happen and nitrogen will be retarded. So the reagent for nitrogen is H2SO4 and HNO3. If that you will take, this nitrogen will get protonated and our ring becomes so deactivated that you cannot have nitrogen. Are you getting or not? So what I am saying, if you directly treat this with compound with H2SO4 and HNO3, this nitrogen gets protonated and being ring becomes so deactivated that it does not react further so what I will do first I will decrease the reactivity of this nitrogen so decrease the basicity so I will treat this with CH3 COCl something like this so you have CH3 so here you have CH3 COCl so what you will have this will come and Cl will go so good leaving group will go so first I will have nitrogen will attack and I will have Me here and nitrogen NH COCS3 now reactivity of this compound has decreased because this CO group so this lone pair is now available in resonance this side so uh, are you getting or not so this HCS3 COCL is reagent now this lone pair is in the resonance so now this is not so reactive now I can do nitration I can take HNO3 and H2SO4 I will do nitration. So what will be the nitrated product? Let me write here. So you will have a nitrated product something like this. So you will have the nitrated product. So nitration you will have at para position. So this is the para position you will have nitration. NH CO CS3 and here you have a CS3 group. Now if you further do hydrolysis, if you react with H plus and H2O, what will happen? This will be further converted into amine. So you have this is a trick to add nitro group in benzene ring that contains NH2 group also. So you add this one, you will get the desired product. So this we have to form. So now you can understand how will you do this one. Now if you have to have something like this, so if we have, so let us say this compound is something like this. We have to prepare this compound. Here I have CS3, but here I have nitrogen, hydrogen, and then I have something like this, a five metal. How can I prepare? So you see, I can prepare only if nitrogen can act as a nucleophile. So if I take something like this kind of compound, 
and if nitrogen is acting like a nucleophile then perhaps I will get the desired product so if you react this with nitrogen so basically if you do that in that case you will get NH2 and then you have to do a uh, reduction also so okay that's fine if you do CH3 if you treat this compound with NH2 you will have that will be H2O will be lost so you will get something of this kind of compound CS3 N and double bond you will have uh, N double bond something like this now if you do reduction of this compound H2PD not vigorous condition will be mild then you can convert this into single bond so you will have CS3 NH and this will be a 5 membrane ring are you getting or not one might another way to proceed something like this you have might choose in this kind of path CS3 here and NH2 here if you treat this compound with CL what will happen this lone pair will attack this will go so you will get the same product and then you have to lose H plus minus H plus is also there so in that case you will get the same product CS3 NH and then you have a R5 membrane ring so there are two possibilities you have either you treat with alkyl halide alkyl halide or you treat this compound with a, a ketonic compound so this is a ketone so either we can take a ketone or we can take aldehyde uh, alkyl halide there may be more possibility that you have to think so if you have done this one just copy and then we'll discuss the next problem these problems are very easy easy problems i'm doing this problem so that you can remember the reactions so remembering reaction is also important okay we will go for the next problem have you written i think you have written <coughs> 